we're the uh, we're the Davises, uh, Jeremy and Monica, and then we have these two little guys and another one that's running around here somewhere. And we've been going to the church basically since it started first month. Um, we joined a small group. In 2012. It, it, it was great. We got to know um, some people through the church that way and, and really grow in different relationships that, um, you know, she's from Cincinnati. I mm -hmm. grew up here, so we just had different friends uh, in general. So there's a way to, for us to meet couples together. As we were kind of going through our next phases of life, we got married, um, you know, got a house, and then we wanted to have children. And uh, we had some issues with that. Mm -hmm. We struggled for a while with the fertility for our, with our first, but um, the first round of meds, it worked perfectly, so it was kind of great. Um, we felt really blessed and he turned out perfect and everything was flawless, so the second time when we wanted to try, I kind of assumed that the same thing would happen again. Um, and it didn't, so the first month it's like, ah, it didn't work. By the fourth time it didn't work, it's very discouraging and... It was emotionally exhausting too. Mm -hmm. Our doctor sent us to a specialist, and interestingly, that appointment wasn't going to be for another like two months, so I just asked to do like one more round of medicine just to like, for the interim. Group was praying for us. Yes. We were getting together, talking about, you know, what people could do, because we thought maybe it was stress related. Christmas Eve, I think it was. Mm -hmm. We found out we were pregnant and we were thrilled. I was really relieved that um, we didn't have to go through anything more intense or invasive. And it was like done. So I canceled all my appointments and we were like ready to go. I think about after we found out it was three weeks later, um, I knew there was something wrong. And we, um, I called him at work and we just went straight to the doctor and they confirmed I was pregnant at that point. And there was really nothing else they could do for me. That night, it was pretty obvious that it was over. And that's when I think I like, unraveled. And yeah. I sat in bed in like, the fetal position and bawled. And the first person, and the only person that I wanted to talk to at that moment was Amanda Burnage, because we've known them well before the church, and I know that she had gone through one before, and because of group, we were just even closer. And I remember she just answered and she knew I was pregnant. So when she answered, I think she could tell, I think I only said Amanda and I was crying and she knew immediately what had happened. Um, and she just, was just such, such a piece that I needed to hear from and just gave me such good words. Like she knew that how bad it hurt and it was okay that it hurt. And, and also like the next day, Steve was here with dinner for us. Mm -hmm. And I think just a week later is when we shared it with the whole group. Yeah. Probably before yeah. our family, uh, right? Yeah, we shared it with and the group before the family. Before family. You know, and it's a different experience for everyone, right? I, I want to support her as best I can. As a, as a guy, you're, you're attached, but not the same way, right? Your body's not going through the changes. Um, so just having those people you can talk to to help, you know, what do you say? Call up Steve, what, what'd you do? How'd you help Amanda and, and how do you support? What, what's, what do you do? And I think the other scary part of us was that I knew now that we had to take like the next step for infertility that I was mm -hmm. kind of fearful of going through. Um, so as soon as we could do the next step. Yeah, this is, this is where you come in, buddy. <laughs> as soon as we could do the next step we did and Miraculously, we were pregnant within a month, I think. Yeah. And it was two. It was, you know, the whole group prayed for us. Mm -hmm. We actually did a thing where each person took a person to pray for. You had, like pick names out of a hat, I think. Yep. We all prayed for that person for a few weeks. We shared what we were pregnant with twins that night. Yeah. So Steve Burnage had my name, so he still takes credit the fact that we have twins <laughs> and that he prayed for that. <laughs> I have to thank him for that. It's good. He still hasn't come over to hold a baby in the middle of the night, which is ridiculous. <laughs> if you're gonna take credit, at least live up to it. <laughs> but I think because like we shared our lows with yeah. the group, with people that we probably never would have without the group, um, the highs of being pregnant with these little guys was even more special. Oh, it's just the, 
it's the best feeling in the world. It, um, you know, when you have, everybody thinks about the woes, right? And how you want somebody to be there with you during the hard times. And, and that's why, you know, you have, you have people in your life that you can do that. And that's really important. Um, and, I, and I would never take anything away from that. But what's even better than that is the highs, mm -hmm. right? The, thing, the things you want to celebrate and you want to come together and, and just like give that two-handed bear hug. <laughs> like, oh, it's the best feeling in the world. And, and, and you're holding it in and all you want to do is burst out and tell people, mm -hmm. uh, especially people that you know love and care for you more than more than you could dream. I mean, they're family. This is this is somebody that they know at your, everything about you. And, and this is family that to some degree you choose. So that's, that's yeah. really cool.